Hello and welcome back. This time we've got another question. It's about midpoints and linear algebra. So let's read this one. The midpoint of a line segment joining the points a negative 6 and 7b is 4.5 negative 1. What are the values of the pronumerals? Okay, so we've got a and negative 6. That's our first coordinate. And we've also got 7 and b. And the midpoint, that is 4.5, negative 1. OK, so midpoint, if we think about that, what's the formula for midpoint? That's x1 plus x2 all over 2 and y1 plus y2 all over 2, because we're finding the middle of these points, or the average values of the x values and the y values, and that'll give us the midpoint. So what's our x1? Well, it doesn't matter which coordinate we choose, but let's just use the left one. Let's say this is x1, this is y1, and this is x2, and this is y2. This is just going to help us out fill in these blanks. Now, the x values, we've got a and 7. So a plus 7 all over 2. We're just subbing in the x1 and the x2 values. And we'll do the same for the y1 and the y2 values. Uh, y1, that's just negative 6. And y2, that's b, so plus b. And that's all over 2. So the midpoint is just coordinates. We've got a x coordinate is 4.5 and a y coordinate of negative 1. So what I can do now is just split up the x coordinate. So 4.5, that's equal to this fraction, a plus 7 over 2. So let's just write that. Uh, we'll just come to here. So 4.5 is equal to a plus 7 over 2. And this is a fairly simple algebraic rearranging problem we've got now. So we want to get the a by itself. So we could get rid of this plus 7 or this divide by 2, but we want to get rid of this divide by 2 first, because that's a stronger operation than division. So if we multiply both sides by 2, we'll get 9 equals a plus 7. Now I've got to be careful, because my 9s and a's look really similar. So keep an eye out for that. Now we want to get rid of this 7, so we'll just take 7 from both sides. So that's 2 equals a. And I'll just put a little flick on the end of the a so it doesn't get confused with the 9. So we found our a value, it's 2. Now we still have to find our b value. So let's use the y value of the midpoint, that's negative 1. So negative 1, that equals negative 6 plus B. Fantastic. 6 and B, they don't look similar at all either. Very clearly different. Uh, let's get rid of this divide by 2 again. So we multiply both sides by 2 here. So we'll get negative 2 equals a negative 6. Make it super round. And a B. Let's make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. Um, and we want to get rid of this negative 6. That way we'll have the B by itself. So let's add 6 to both sides. So we'll get 4 equals b. And now we've got our solutions down here. We've got 4 equals b, and we've also got 2 equals a. And we found the values of the pronouns there. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.